Hey guys, this is Dr. Zeti, I'm Digital Medicine and a resident of Rheumatology and a part-time YouTuber as well and I welcome you to my channel Dr. Zeti. So today in this video, I'm going to tell you what are all the resources that I have used to crack neat SS Rheumatology. So many, uh, you know, many PGs who are preparing for their final exams who are going to have their final exams in the next six months have uh, texted me that how we can prepare for final exams and also the neat SS exams simultaneously because it's almost the exam dates and also the neat SS exam date is also flashing so it is always uh, better to start studying for neat SS exam when you are in final PG itself or you can start from second year ending like or second year you will be in the peripheral so that's when you can start but the thing is how you can start where you can start uh, and what is the methods that you can follow and what are the sources that you need to follow is what we need to know so in this video first I will start with what are all the sources that are really useful for you to crack this neat SS and whatever branch it might be cardiology gastroenterology Neurology, neurology or my branch rheumatology so don't miss anything watch till the end and with no delay let's get into the video see now there are two kind of people only two kind of people who are preparing for neat ss first are those people who are in the final year pg residency and those people who have completed their pg and now preparing for their neat ss exam and i think most of 60 percent of the pgs will be studying addison during their pg period but 40% won't be studied. To those people who are in PG right now, PG residency right now and are preparing for their NEET SS exam, I strictly recommend you to study the entire Harrison and make a notes for yourself because it will be useful for your theory exams as well and it will be useful for you for this NEET SS exam as well. Because, you know, uh, everything that you wanted to study for NEET SS will be there in the Harrison itself. But if you are opting some random book or some other book that is easier for you to just pass your final exams, then definitely it won't help you to uh, get through NEET SS exam because every MCQ that is given by NBE in Need SS will come from Harrison only. So you final year guys who are studying for your exams, kindly study the entire Harrison, make notes for yourself. This is what I have done during my preparation. I have started studying Harrison for like uh, six months before the exam, very strictly daily almost six to eight hours. I used to sit and study and make notes. But the point here is many of you might not get time to study entire Harrison right now if you are having less than six months. But if you are having six months, it is enough time to complete the entire Harrison. It's not like you will be reading Harrison for the first time. It's like uh, you will be studying bits and pieces from Harrison book uh, when you are in first year, second year. But now you need to stipulatedly prepare for theory part as well as objective part. Uh, both are completely different. But my my point is here, if you have more than six months, please do study under Harrison. If you do not have six months of time, then what you need to do, if you have only four months, five months, then how you have to study. That I'll be telling in the next part of the video, please do watch it. So those people who are having six months and those who wants to study the Harrison book and prepare for the NEET SS simultaneously will be having a lot of fetching. And one more thing is that the mistake I have done during my preparation is what I'm going to tell you which you shouldn't do so you can crack neat SS in a single go either taking six months or nine months extra time to prepare and crack it so the thing you need to do is if you're preparing for theory and if you wanted to crack neat SS you need to practice MCQ as well daily that is how like when you study theory entirely you prepare your notes then at the end of the day spend one hour or you can practice at least 50 to 100 MCQs for neat SS oriented then definitely this will actually help you uh, prepare simultaneously for the two things and at the same time you will be oriented on how you are to focus on certain topics and how you need to omit certain topics uh, by the time you reach uh, near to neat SS exam this is the point which I have missed it so I have got a, a bigger rank in the first attempt that I have given after the completing my PG residency exam so next time when I have sat for like six months that's when I have understood how I should have approached it so this is a very important key that you need to understand and at the same time you don't need to sit uh, for a longer duration on certain topics uh, in Harrison which are not necessary for neat SS or for your theory exams and definitely I'll make a, a list of topics that are important for your neat SS as well as for your uh, you know residency final exams uh, in a short time and I'll be posting it on my YouTube channel as well as on my Instagram you can follow my Instagram profile and the link is given below in the description you can uh, follow me and 
for all the updates regarding you know for uh, pg as well as for neat ss you will be getting there so the next thing what are the apps that i have used do for my neat ss preparation so there are three important apps that i have used and i thought i found them more useful for my preparation so first app is that maro but the thing is my uh, many of you might be asking did i watch uh, videos from the maro no i haven't watched because i'm very much confident that i have studied harrison for like more than 3 times and i don't need to watch those topics again and again and waste time so i went straight forward went into my notes studied them practiced them sqs practiced grantor so maro is one such kind i don't say they are very good at qbank but they are very good at uh, exams so their test series and also grandes are very good so i have practiced the subject quiz tests and also the grandes from the maro so where did i get the q bank in the best way possible so doc tutorials is one another app which i have used to practice the general mcqs or i can say the q bank variant of mcq so here i need to appreciate doc tutorials because the q bank they have accumulated or the way they curated and uploaded it is very nice the uh, way they have uh, implemented the q um, uh, clinical questions into the q bank are really great so those really gave me confidence while practicing some questions are really easy some are medium some are very difficult so it's all like a club of everything that you need to have it so if you wanted to practice q bank and you think you need to have a q bank then go for top tutorials and if you think that no uh, not a q bank kind of person that you need to practice 4000 5000 mcqs then you can just practice uh, you know uh, mcqs of the test series that are present in the maro app and another app that i wanted to have a special mention is that uh, the search test which i have used for grant test and those uh, the the search test subscriptions are very very less cost so i haven't given a second thought in opting for only grant test so it's almost like maybe uh, 99 199 rupees of that range only so grant test that will be more than enough uh, if you wanted to have extra edge of grant test practice then you can go for search test so primarily i have focused on uh, only maro and doctor terrace for qback as well as test series these are the apps that i have used i haven't uh, gone into the depth material that they are going to provide for neat ss because i already have my own sort of material so the next thing that i wanted to tell the about is uh notes so what is the notes that i have preferably used so i have been seeing many uh, no many uh, b uh, neat ss aspirants or i can say the pg residents are trying to find a good notes for their final exams as well as for neat ss i really have a pity on you guys because you should have your own notes by the end of your pg residency in general medicine particularly because medicine being very vast you need to know how much you need to simplify what you need to simplify how you need to retry the concept the way you have understood so you need to have your own notes most of the times if you don't have that much of time then definitely you can go for uh, some other uh, notes from uh, i can say from a standard institute or a standard app but not like everywhere uh, those people who are offering i have um, many things but i won't be suggesting like uh, many sources are giving you many notes which are not much reliable but uh you can just go with uh, uh this uh, particular uh, notes of yours uh, because uh, i have made a notes from complete harrison minimalized it uh, explained the concepts in my way and written in such a beautiful a beautiful way so when i have prepared for neat tests i have almost you know uh, uh, revised for like five to six times uh, the notes itself so that have really fetched me uh, a good rank i could say and i have got the brands i wanted so i would say for notes uh, it is best for uh, 80 to 90% it's best that you prepare the, the notes but if you don't have that much of time then you can go for some reliable source um, uh, of that but if you want uh, some parts of my notes then just give a comment down uh, with some red heart or yellow heart i and put your uh, email in the comments so i can send you some parts of my notes so you can understand how you can write a uh, notes from your harrison book and the next source that i want to talk about is videos do videos really need it so yeah i see many uh, second year pg residents as well as third year residents started watching videos and uh, making notes from it and then they are studying for their final exams and they are thinking that would be really helpful for the, their neat ss exam so i personally say that's really a biggest blunder that you never make because 
understanding the way Harrison explains or studying uh, from a textbook and then retrieving the knowledge is very different from uh, videos when you are a PG. You are not a UG or a NEET PG aspirant who are preparing for NEET PGs and so you have completely come out and you are a NEET SS preparation. You need to have that orientation by yourself. But I think when those people who think that they are not at all oriented to NEET SS exam, they are not at all oriented to a book, such a big book like Harrison, then you guys definitely need videos and most of the times I again say the videos are very good from uh, Marrow, Doc Tutorials and Speed. If you wanted me to give the rankings then I have to go with uh, the videos first, the Marrow second, Speed then third, Doc Tutorials. So this is what if you wanted to go with the videos but I haven't watched videos because I think I have got the orientation that I wanted from the notes that I have prepared. So I think if you are also oriented, don't go for videos because that will uh, make you confused more and more. So those people, I have said, those people who are already in PC residency and um, preparing for their final exams and need SS, I told you how you need to prepare. But those people who have already completed the PC exam and they are preparing for NEET SS uh, those before those people it is very tough to study entire Harrison again because they might be practicing one or two years in uh, hospital and they might have decided to do the DM or super speciality now and it's almost two years uh, that they have touched books yeah it is very difficult for them to study again the entire Harrison so for those people I really recommend to go with all the flowcharts images and tables that are present in the Harrison and there are a lot of PDFs available uh, outside uh, in various websites where you can download only the tables from Harrison and if you if you think that you want tables from only tables a PDF from uh, Harrison that is containing only tables then just ping me in the comments then I'll be maybe I'll be sending you or I'll be dropping a link where you can download so that will help you a lot because I see almost 60% of the questions are coming from those tables images and flowcharts so that will really help you to get an idea over the new edition of Harrison and you won't be lagging behind uh, your juniors who have studied the entire Harrison so that is one uh, important resource that I wanted to tell you guys and final point that I wanted to say for revision what is the source that I have used because revision is the key for any exam and uh, I think I have planned my revision very well uh, for NEET SS exam so what I have done is uh, as I have used a Marrow Doc Tutorial search desk for test series in QN and I've used Harrison for my notes preparation and I have to club whatever the important points I have got from all these sources into one so as usual I could say my core um, strength is always preparing good set of uh, uh, stick notes from all the sources that I have used and clubbing them into one and making stick notes. So I have almost made 400 stick notes and I have stuck that on my walls and that's the source of my revision at the end when it's almost 10, 15 days to exam I thoroughly went on to study those 400 stick notes and the revision went really well and I have a lot of confidence before going to exam and from those stick notes itself I have got many MCQs or related topic MCQs uh, in the DTSS exam and that helped me. So you need to have your own plan how you got to prepare for the revision as well. So uh, if you are preparing for theory exam you need to have one set of mind. If you are preparing for both theory and uh, you know, competitive exam you need to have different set of mind and from the beginning you need to decide whether you are going to watch videos and from the beginning you need to rely only on one source for QBank and only on one source for test series. You can use different uh, apps for S series and QBank but if you started using QBank from only one app you just follow that blindly don't go for multiple apps for QBank only don't go for multiple apps for test series only that will really make your mind more confused and you also need to have a stipulated plan for your revision so this is all the sources that I have used but I think you people have got a lot of information from this and you might be planning on how you can study for your final exams as well as for need SS exams. That's it for this video. What will be my next video for uh, all the general medicine residents and also need SS aspirants from medicine uh, department. So that's it for this. I think you have all enjoyed it. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel Dr. JTM and I'll be back with one more great content. Until then, bye. Take care.